Move on if you can. Lothering's lost. Thieves prey on the unfortunate whenever they get the chance. We've had refugees streaming from the south for the last two days. The Chantry and Tavern are full to bursting. There simply isn't enough food to go around, and we Templars can barely keep order. You'd be better off elsewhere, my friend. Best of luck wherever you might go. As if we needed more fighting here. Don't you see how scared everyone is? The blight has truly come, and the king is dead. We're all going to die. I hear those bandits are back again. Why don't the Templars kill them? There'll just be more bandits as soon as you leave. I want to go home. Greetings to you, good sir. If it isn't too much to ask, might you spare some bread or... or anything? We thought it would be safer in Lothering, that the Terran would bring his soldiers here. But bandits attacked us and took everything. Our food, our clothes, my daughter's pet lamb. Nobody cares about a few elves like us. Surely you understand. That's wonderful news. Perhaps our belongings are still there. I can't thank you enough, friend. Even if we don't get everything back, it's... It's good to know others will be safe. I have the right to charge what I wish. You profit from their misfortune. I should have the Templars give away everything in your carts. You wouldn't dare. Any of you step too close to my goods and I'll... It's so nice to see everyone working together in a crisis. Warms the heart. Oh, you there. You look able. Would you care to make a tiny profit helping a beleaguered businessman? is filling his pockets. Tis only survival of the fittest. All of these Cretans would do the same in his shoes, given the chance. I have limited supplies. The people decide what those supplies are worth to them. You bought most of your wares from these very people last week. Now they flee for their lives, and you want to talk business? Look, stranger, I have a hundred silvers if you drive this rabble off, starting with that priest. I'm an honest merchant, nothing more. Would it help these folks if they could buy no goods at all? They spend their very last coin because they are desperate. And this man preys upon them as surely as the bandits outside the city. Ah, I'm not arguing anymore. Drive off this woman and get your hundred silvers. Otherwise, I'm taking my wagon and leaving. You wouldn't dare. I'm leaving. And who's gonna make me leave him? You? 
I hope the Darkspawn choke on your cheap hides. Ah! I suppose it couldn't be helped. Maker, help us all. to the village as fast as I could, so I did. She said she'd be right behind me, but I've been waiting and waiting and I can't see her. He went with William to the neighbours yesterday, but he didn't come back. Mother said I wasn't... I will, but only if I don't find Mother first. So, um, are you really an elf? Father says elves aren't very nice, but you're nicer than everybody here. Thank you for helping me. Knights have come through here searching for some holy artifact. Not one of them stopped to help. And Eileen spoke unto the masses, My hearth is yours, my bread is yours, my life is yours. For all who walk in the sight of the Maker are one. Let all repeat the chant of light. Only the word dispels the darkness upon us. He can't answer you. He's chanted Devons. One of them that can only say the chant of light. His board has letters of good deeds to be doing. My father fixed Widow Allison's roof once, and the charter paid him, he did. A learned child is a blessing upon his parents and onto the maker. Chant of light? No. And so Rajmael in the heathen temple recanted. Speak only the word, sing only the chant, then the golden city is thine, spoke Andraste. Blessed are the peacekeepers, champions of the just.
Just how smart the Mabari is supposed to be, anyway. Do you think they understand everything we say? Oh, is that so? You could just be listening to the tone of my voice. You could be an utter moron, for all we know. Uh... Hey, 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 now. <laughs> There's nothing saying that a moron can't be cute and adorable. Who's the cute and adorable puppy? <laughs> Ignorance is bliss, isn't it? That's what the Chantry kept telling me, anyhow. So many strangers are about now. The legions of evil are on your doorstep. They will feast upon our hearts. There is nowhere to run. This evil will cover the world like a plague of locusts. Please, you're scaring the children. Better to slit their throats now than let them suffer at Darkspawn hand! There! One of their minions is already amongst us! This man bears their evil stench! Can you not see the vile blackness that fills him? I watch the Black Horde descend on my people. I will not be silent. Please stop. Somebody shut his mouth. But isn't he right? The ban left us. We're going to die. This minion is but the first of those who will destroy us. My family. My clan. Those creatures butchered them all. Some of us fled here, but we cannot escape the dog spawn. No, I won't listen to the words of a man tainted by dog spawn. I ran. Hearing my wife's screams as they dragged her off. I will go. He was right, wasn't he? There's no hope for us. Our courage. But there's nothing we can do. Why is this happening? Maybe with that blasted chasing gone, my headache will go as well. If you seek refuge in the Chantry, there's simply no room left. Make her watch over you.
Wake up, gentlemen. More travelers to attend to. <laughs> Led by an elf, of all things. Uh, they don't look much like them others. You know, uh, maybe we should just let these ones pass. Nonsense. Greetings, travelers. Highwaymen, preying on those fleeing the Darkspawn, I suppose. They are fools to get in our way. I say, 
teach them a lesson. Now is that any way to greet someone? A simple ten silvers and you're free to move on. Indeed, for the upkeep of the Imperial Highway. It's a bit of a mess, isn't it? Not much gets past you, I see. It's not really a toll. We're just robbing you, see? Do shut up. Even a Genlock would have understood that. Well, I can't say I'm pleased to hear that. We have rules, you know. Right. We get to ransack your corpse, then. Those are the rules. Did he say he's a Grey Warden? Them ones killed the king. Traitors to Ferelden, I hear. Tern Loghain put quite a bounty on any who are found. What do you say, gents? With that kind of bounty, we can retire. Let's be heroes to the kingdom. Be wary. Surrender. We're, we're just trying to get by before the darkspawn get us all. Yes, yes, of, of course. We should have been more careful. <laughs> I'm sorry. Yes, yes, of course. The coins we collected are right here. Uh, just over a hundred silvers. The rest is in the chest we brought. I swear. Bless you. The darkspawn can have this place. Well, there it is. Lothering. Pretty as a painting. Ah, so you have finally decided to rejoin us, have you? Falling on your blade in grief seemed like too much trouble, I take it. Is my being upset so hard to understand? Have you never lost someone important to you? Just what would you do if your mother died? Before or after I stopped laughing. Right, very creepy. Forget I asked. His navel, I suspect. He certainly has been contemplating it for long enough. Oh, I get it. This is the part where we're shocked to discover how you've never had a friend your entire life. I can be friendly when I desire to. Alas, desiring to be more intelligent does not make it so. Anyway, I thought we should talk about where we intend to go first. I agree. Have you looked at them? There are three main groups that we have treaties for. The Dalish Elves, the Dwarves of Orzammar, and the Circle of Magi. I also still think that Arliman is our best bet for help. We might even want to go to him first. I can give you directions, if you like.
There must be other Dalish in Ferelden. In fact, I'm sure of it. If we head eastward, towards the Brazilian forest, we should hear word of one of the clans that wanders that area. Hopefully, they will still be there. He'll be at Castle Redcliffe, in the far western part of Ferelden, next to the mountain passes. If he isn't there, someone will be able to tell us where he is. We would need to speak to their king in Orzammar. That means heading west into the Frostback Mountains, which won't be easy. That will be at their tower on Lake Kalenhard to the north. We'll be looking for the first enchanter, whoever that is. If he isn't out in the field with his army, he's probably going to be at the palace in Denerim. We can go to Denerim, but somehow I suspect that they're not going to let us just walk around. Only a suspicion, of course. Then you have a plan. Fair enough. Let's head into the village whenever you're ready. Need something? I don't generally talk to strange elves who wander in here. I don't know you. Why shouldn't I have something against you? We've got enough strangers overrunning us. Nothing but trouble. Can't promise I'm going to answer them. What isn't? We got chastened barbarians in every farmholder south of Kalenhard running from the Darkspawn. Not that they'll be safe here with the army gone. You could talk to the Elder, though she's got her hands full getting everyone on their way. For now, most folks go to Sir Bryant. He's head of the Chantry's Templars. He's gone to war and taken all his soldiers, leaving us to fend for ourselves. There's not going to be much left when he returns, if he returns. What? You mean they're gone? Well, goody for you. Now there's no one to drive off the blighted refugees. Sir Brian's would be glad, though. He's been talking about offering a reward for anyone who'd run them out. Don't let me stop you. I hear you drove off those bandits. I hope they don't come back. You there. If you're looking for safe shelter, I'll warn you, there's none to be found. Move on if you can. Lothering's lost. Thieves prey on the unfortunate whenever they get the chance. We've had refugees streaming from the south for the last two days. The Chantry and Tavern are full to bursting. There simply isn't enough food to go around, and we Templars can barely keep order. You'd be better off elsewhere, my friend. Best of luck, wherever you might go. Mother! Alistair, if you will indulge me. Do I have a choice? 
Of the two of you that remain, are you not the senior Grey Warden here? I find it curious that you allow another to lead while you follow. You find that curious, do you? In fact, you defer to a new recruit. Is this the policy of the Grey Warden? Well, there it is. Lothering. Pretty as a painting. Ah, so you have finally decided to rejoin us, have you? Falling on your blade in grief seemed like too much trouble, I take it. Is my being upset so hard to understand? Have you never lost someone important to you? Just what would you do if your mother died? Before or after I stopped laughing. Right, very creepy. Forget I asked. His navel, I suspect. He certainly has been contemplating it for long enough. Oh, I get it. This is the part where we're shocked to discover how you've never had a friend your entire life. I can be friendly when I desire to. Alas, desiring to be more intelligent does not make it so. Anyway, I thought we should talk about where we intend to go first. I agree. Have you looked at them? There are three main groups that we have treaties for. The Dalish Elves, the Dwarves of Orzammar, and the Circle of Magi. I also still think that Arleman is our best bet for help. We might even want to go to him first. I can give you directions, if you like. There must be other Dalish in Ferelden. In fact, I'm sure of it. If we head eastward, towards the Brazilian forest, we should hear word of one of the clans that wanders that area. Hopefully, they will still be there. He'll be at the castle Redcliffe, in the far western part of Ferelden, next to the mountain passes. If he isn't there, someone will be able to tell us where he is. We would need to speak to their king in Orzammar. That means heading west into the Frostback Mountains, which won't be easy. That will be at their tower on Lake Kalenhard to the north. We'll be looking for the first enchanter, whoever that is. If he isn't out in the field with his army, he's probably going to be at the palace in Denerim. We can go to Denerim, but somehow I suspect that they're not going to let us just walk around. Only a suspicion, of course. Then you have a plan. Fair enough. Let's head into the village whenever you're ready. Need something? I don't generally talk to strange elves who wander in here. I don't know you. Why shouldn't I have something against you? We've got enough strangers overrunning us. Nothing but trouble. Can't promise I'm gonna answer them. What isn't? We got chastened barbarians in every farmholder south of Kalanhard running from the Darkspawn. Not that they'll be safe here with the army gone. 
You could talk to the Elder, though she's got her hands full getting everyone on their way. For now, most folks go to Sir Bryant. He's head of the Chantry's Templars. He's gone to war and taken all his soldiers, leaving us to fend for ourselves. There's not going to be much left when he returns, if he returns. Were? You mean they're gone? Well, goody for you. Now there's no one to drive off the blighted refugees. Sir Brian's would be glad, though. He's been talking about offering a reward for anyone who'd run them out. Don't let me stop you. I hear you drove off those bandits. I hope they don't come back. You there. If you're looking for safe shelter, I'll warn you, there's none to be found. Move on if you can. Lothering's lost. Thieves prey on the unfortunate whenever they get the chance. We've had refugees streaming from the south for the last two days. The Chantry and Tavern are full to bursting. There simply isn't enough food to go around, and we Templars can barely keep order. You'd be better off elsewhere, my friend. Best of luck, wherever you might go. Mother! Alistair, if you will indulge me. Do I have a choice? Mother! Of the two of you that remain, are you not the senior Grey Warden here? I find it curious that you allow another to lead while you follow. You find that curious, do you? In fact, you defer to a new recruit. Is this the policy of the Grey... You there. If you're looking for safe shelter, I'll warn you. There's none to be found. Move on if you can. Lothering's lost. Thieves prey on the unfortunate whenever they get the chance. We've had refugees streaming from the south for the last two days. The Chantry and Tavern are full to bursting. There simply isn't enough food to go around, and we Templars can barely keep order. You'd be better off elsewhere, my friend. Best of luck, wherever you might go. Mother! Alistair, if you will indulge me. Do I have a choice? Of the two of you that remain, are you not the senior Grey Warden here? I find it curious that you allow another to lead while you follow. You find that curious, do you? In fact, you defer to a new recruit. Is this the policy of the Grey Warden? Alistair, if you will indulge me. Do I have a choice? Of the two of you that remain, are you not the senior Grey Warden here? I find it curious that you allow another to lead while you follow. You find that curious, do you? In fact, you defer to a new recruit. Is this the policy of the Grey Warden? You find that curious, do you? In fact, you defer to a new recruit. Is this the policy of the Grey Warden? Is this the policy of the Grey Warden? Or simply a personal one? What do you want to hear? That I prefer to follow? I do. You sound so very defensive. Couldn't you crawl into a bush somewhere and die? 
That would be great, thanks. We're planning on running that mine until the last minute. Felleron's orders. You might not want to go in. Tavern's full and those soldiers are being a nuisance. They're not here to defend us. They were looking for someone before they started drinking. I hear they almost killed a man because they didn't like his face. I wonder if they're deserters from the King's army. Is there any reason to be happy? With the King dead, them Darkspawn will overrun Lothering before anyone can organize. You'd think those soldiers could at least run off the bandits. I hear someone gave them what they deserved. Wasn't you, was it? It was? Hey, everyone! This is the one who drove out those thieving bastards! More will probably come, but it's good to know some justice is left here. Thank you. So, Terran Loghain is the new regent, isn't that? Good thing? I heard that he may have had something to do with the king's death. But I thought Darkspawn killed the king. That doesn't make any sense. It's probably political nonsense. We'll be lucky if they don't burn down the entire country fighting over the throne. I heard those bandits are back again. Why don't the Templars kill them? Did you speak to that knight yesterday? Said he was from Redcliffe. He talked to everyone in the tavern. How are we supposed to know where the urn of sacred ashes is? Might as well ask us how to get to the moon. He said that all the Redcliffe knights were looking for it, as if they didn't have anything better to do. I don't get it. Did you see the new recruiters out? I'd keep your voice down if I were you. They're pressing anyone who can hold a sword into service. Now, Terran wants a new army, but is it to fight them Darkspawn or those nobles shouting against them? I've no idea, but I'm sure not about to raise my hand if you catch my meaning. Not after what happened down south. How is it that Terran Loghain survived when even the Grey Wardens didn't make it out of that place down south? I heard he saw just in time what those Grey Wardens were doing and saved his men. He's a hero, that's what he is. Too bad he couldn't save poor King Kalen. Blast those Grey Wardens, they deserve what they got and more. I'll say. First they drag the King down there and then they throw him to the wolves. It's no wonder it all went bad. I've got a cousin in the temple. He says the mages in the tower out on Lake Callanhard are all turning into demons. They always say that, though. It, well, this time it's true. They're not sure what to do about it yet, he says. What's to do? I thought you killed them. Easier said than done. Mages pick a fine time to go turning into demons, I tell you. What's to be done? What can we do? Just keep your head down, that's what. And your wits about you. The makers punishment it is for letting their mages keep on with their circles. Should kill them now, just to be safe. Maker would thank us, I bet. It's the maker's punishment it is for letting their mages keep on with their circles. Should kill them now, just to be safe. Maker would thank us, I bet. Neighbor fled. I'm thinking of going myself. Where to? They'll stop those dark spawns soon enough. Just you watch. Something in the tavern said that the dark spawn turned folks into ghouls. What's a ghoul? Something like an abomination, maybe. Oh, well, that isn't good. I hear there isn't even really any dark spawn down south. It's all Grey Warden work. They're a devious lot, that's for sure. 
So I ask him, what's he got that I don't? And you know what he says? Your wife in his bed? <laughs> the dogs were yelping all night long. Smell of the dark spawn, they keep telling me. Don't be an idiot. There aren't any dark spawn here. Yet, anyhow. Isn't even really any dark spawn down south. It's all Grey Warden work. They're a devious lot, that's for sure. What's to be done? What can we do? Just keep your head down, that's what. And your wits about you. What's to be done? What can we do? Just keep your head down, that's what. And your wits about you. What's to be done? Just keep your head down, that's what, and your wits about you.